This is a crucial solid state drive, and down here I've got my Dell computer in a small form factor case. The hard drive in here is noisy and slow, so I'm going to show you how to use a solid state drive to upgrade it. Hi there, I'm James and welcome to Mostly Helpful, or if you're one of the 0.5% of people who watch my videos who are subscribers, welcome back. In today's video, as I mentioned, we're going to upgrade the hard drive in this Dell Swarm form factor computer. What I've got here is the solid state drive. I bought this on Amazon, very inexpensive in the UK, just £37. Link in the description below. Of course, before we can copy the data over, we need to get the solid state drive out of its box. So just take a convenient knife, just slice through this seal here. I'm going to get it out. Could have gone through the top one to be fair. It's amazing how small these things are, isn't it? And there we go, there is our solid state drive. It's very light. And then in order to do the data transfer in my particular case, I'm going to use this drive caddy. This is made by Ugreen. Um, again, bought on Amazon, link in the description below. There's a drive in here already, which is from a previous computer. And that one comes. And then in goes this nice new one. There it is, just slots in like that. And then the cover goes back on and we're ready to go. This is the hard drive caddy I mentioned before. It's a USB 3 device and it's plugged into one of two USB 3 ports that I've got here on the front of this Dell. Um, and that is all the connection you need for the purposes of copying the data off the internal hard drive. Uh, this brand of solid state drive, Crucial, They've guided me into their website and they're now telling me that I need to download or I can choose to download some software from them uh, to clone the data. So I'm going to do that. Obviously, if you've, you don't have to do this, you can use any software that you're comfortable with uh, for cloning data. But let's have a look. Accept all cookies. Yeah, we're in the UK. Uh, da, 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 da. So then I'm going to download this software and then go through their process of cloning the data off my existing regular hard drive into the SSD. There we go, that's that all done. Disk was successfully cloned. So now to get it in the machine. And so here we are with the PC itself in its small form factor. It's very simple. I've taken one of these apart before and in one of my previous videos about upgrading the graphics card. You've got the screws here on the back, which undo. If you haven't got these, the, the ones you can do with your fingers, then it's just a sort of Phillips screw. And then it is just a case of pulling that like that. And then the lid comes off. And then what we need to do is get inside and access the hard drive. I'll show you how to do that. I can remember. All you have to do is firstly remove the fascia. So these clips here. So one, two, three. And if you just, in my case, I'm just going to hang this off the desk and just kind of folds out like that. Put that to one side. Then for memory, what you need to do is get this piece. I think it slides forward and tilts up, but let's just get the screwdriver. So Phillips head on there, posi drive, whichever. There. It's got a little tab back here that you push on and then it slides forward enough for you to then lift it out like that. If I remember correctly. And then that enables you to lift this bit out. Here it is. And then this is where we've got the original hard drive. First person to spot the schoolboy error I've made. This is a three and a half inch drive and I've bought a two and a half inch replacement and I do not have a bracket. And we'll cross that in a minute. Then unplug the data cable and unplug the power cable. There we go, that 
that's our Seagate one terabyte Barracuda drive. So I've just ordered a hard drive 2.5 to 3.5 adapter in order to be able to put the drive into this holder here. Um, but let's just um, carry on and get as far as we can go. So then this is the SSD now with all the data that from the cloning process. Again, using this caddy, it's just a case of sliding it out, he says. Now because the SSD is in a in a plastic case like this, what I could do is I could just sort of stick it to the roof of this here with some double-sided tape and then that would sit there with the with all the connectors in the right place. I'll show you that. It's here. Um, and just and then I could install it like that and it would be absolutely fine, but it feels a bit cronky, so I've ordered um, an adapter. So it's a few days later and my bracket has arrived, uh, which I ordered earlier. One of the things we need to be aware of when ordering a bracket is not any kind will do because of the way this hard drive, this old one is fixed with these sort of vertical screws. I needed to make sure I got a bracket that could do the same in order to hold this SSD. Let's open it up, just check that that is gonna be the case. what I can see here is we've got holes at the, in this vertical plane that in, means that it can be correctly attached into this silver bracket that's the original part of the Dell machine. So let's get on and install this two and a half inch drive into this three and a half inch adapter and get it in, back in the machine properly. I've had a look through and I'm going to use these four screws that came with the bracket um, and then these are the two original screws that came with this one that's in the Dell. The way it, uh, I've chosen to do it is I'm going to mount it like this and I could mount it flat to this plate but I want to leave it slightly suspended and that means having it sort of sat like that. So I'm going to put those screws that's in. Done. The hard drive is in its new caddy. This one by the way is was just over five pounds It's by the brand Sabrent. Hopefully the Dell bracket has a uh, indicator here to tell you where the connector needs to go so what I then need to do is simply just flip that over slide it in like that and then just line up those holes for these last fixings and there we go that's that uh, 2.5 SSD in the uh, adapter then in the bracket for the Dell machine so we can now go straight back into the case. As before it's just a case of connecting up the power and the data so let's do the power, the bigger one slides in there and then the data and that one slides in and then just turn that over and slot it back in. Uh, early part of the video I talked about taking three screws out, you actually only need to take two out for this. Uh, let's put those last two back. So that's this one here at the front. Then it's face here back on. It's, remember it rolled off so you sort of have to roll it back in again. So like this. Clip on. Case, lid or side, just slides in like that and we put our case screws back in place. These ones are just designed to be done by fingers. You may have normal regular case screws in which case you'll need your screwdriver. And there we go, all back together as it should be. I'm going to plug it in and just make sure it's all working once again. So that's all back together now. So let's turn the machine on and check everything's working fine. And there we go. All working well. There you go, guys. I hope that was a helpful video. A really simple upgrade for your Dell or any small form factor PC. Nice and easy to install. Just don't forget that in this job particularly, I needed a bracket, I forgot to order it. So don't forget to order that if you're gonna do this job yourself. As always, thank you ever so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, do let me know, hit like. And if you wanna see more of this kind of content, do hit subscribe. 
and I look forward to coming to you in a new video very soon. Thanks and goodbye.